So let's start with talking about some of the other authors and uh, contributors to the magical tradition. I will do a quick run uh, over with uh, Dr. John Dee. He was born in 1527 and died in 1608. He based his work on Heptameron, Stenographia and Agrippa. And uh, Dr. Rad uh, had his own use of um, Sancta Cum Tabulis Enoch, he, uh, the holy table of Enoch, and uh, he calls it, um, and uh, I've been showing it uh, in the photos on my community page. And uh, Dr. Thomas Rudd, he was born 1583 and died 1656. And he collected and got all the works together of the Goetia. And uh, the most common version to own nowadays is the Goetia of Dr. Rudd uh, by Stephen Skinner. And it contains several books within one. So the Lemegeton Clavicula Salomonis, the Goetia part is book one. Theurgia Goetia is uh, book two. The one I'm always using, the Art Pauline, Ars Paulina. It's about the nature of the planetary hours, and that is book one. And then we have the Art Pauline, book two, that contains the spirits of the degrees of the zodiac that I also use. And then we have the Art Almadel, or Ars Almadel, that uh, has the chorus and uh, ways to attain wisdom from the angels. And Goetia also goes with the name with Liber Malorum Spiritum Seu Goetia. And he knew John Dee personally and he shared many of the same interests uh, from Al Chemy, angel magic, and the geometry of Euclid. He further carried on these experiments and formed the focus of a group of 17th century angel magicians. And um, he sure has influenced me too. And then we go into some of the um, contributors here. Let's go to John Denley. He was a bookseller, uh, but he hired scribes. And he had a lot of manuscripts and he had scribes uh, copying them and so on. He had uh, Sibley and uh, Lord Bulver Lytton and the Sanoni, the uh, Rosicrucian master. And he assisted F. Barrett with material for the Magus, where this table is from. And then we go to one of his crimes that I really like. That is Frederick Hockley, born in 1808, died 1885. He was Denley's employee and scribe. He copied each manuscript many times. And Hockley spent most of his life in studying, copying, and uh, practicing angel magic. He practiced like uh, conjuring angels into his crystals, scrying with either a crystal or a magic mirror or a black mirror. His main interest was communication with the spiritual realm, and he connected to different kind of spirits. He even had a short period in his life where he tried the spiritualism. And he also studied alchemy. And he used female <coughs> scryers just as D did. And he filled 30 volumes with over 12,000 answers from the spirits. Hockley used Dr. Rod's 
Rudd calls off the nine hierarchies of angels and deals calls and celestial invocations using the table of Enoch or the holy table of Enoch. And uh, his collection of books and manuscripts were acquired by the founders of the Golden Dawn. And then we have an, another very important in the history here. We have Adv Arthur Edward Waite. And he published um, Goetia, Key of Solomon, Grimoire Verum, Fourth uh, Book of uh, Occult Philosophy, and Black Pullet, Poilet Noir, Noir. And um, he was a synthesizing. Uh, when he he didn't publish a grimoire by itself, but he did his own thing, and he lived between eighteen fifty seven and nineteen forty two. And these are the main. Then, of course, in later years we have uh, Mac uh, Gregor Matters and Crowley. But I will be talking about the grimoires um, that is great authors have had their hands on and more specific details about the history of the grimoires and the books. So, I hope you be inspired and have a magical, magical day. Bye for now.